I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today's concept is about the Mohr circle. This is the problem they have given it. At the point in a strain material, there are two mutually perpendicular tensile stresses of 400 Newton per mm square and 300 Newton per mm square. And there is also a shear stress of 200 Newton. Determine the Mohr circle, magnitude and direction of the principal stresses and the greatest shear stress. These are the one of the easiest uh, problems in video. Now, I have to consider, I will consider if it is a tensile, I will consider a positive. If it is a compression, I will consider it as a negative. Now, the shear important part. If the shear is rotating in this direction, in this direction, I will consider as a minus, anti-clockwise, I will consider as a minus. If the shear, <coughs> rotated in this direction shear i will consider as a clockwise direction as a positive positive one now the basic concept is very simple here i will write first here sigma x and tau now what is sigma x this is nothing but sigma x 400 write it as a 400 but it is a positive positive tensile i have considered as a positive now shear it is rotating in which direction it is rotating in because direction indicated in this way, it is rotating anti-clockwise. Therefore, it is minus 200. This completed first part. And next, here. Again, sigma y and tau. I will write as sigma y and tau. What is sigma y? This is a tensile. Positive 300. What is tau? It is rotating clockwise direction. Therefore, it is plus 200 this completes you this completes your first portion now next portion <coughs> just draw the as per the scale this is zero this is shear this is stress sigma positive positive negative negative now i have to consider a scale here i have to consider a scale i will consider for the scale here scale one centimeter is nothing but 100 newton per mm square i have considered the scale here now sigma x is 400 so this is the 400 this is the sigma x line 400 that is 4 centimeter this is the 4 centimeter but tau is 200 negative direction this is nothing but negative it is a positive 200 negative draw the line at the bottom 2 centimeter this is a and this is d now again come here this side sigma y is 300 mm but it is positive so you have to write again positive from o it is 300 the diagram become very small here already it is 400 if it is 300 means this side it becomes 300 but 200 is the positive shear stress draw it 2 cm upward now and this is B uh, this is E when they join these two point from this point to this point this point we call as a C C point C point this is A, D, this is the B, this is C point and E point. Now, with the compass, fix the point, join this source point, draw the circle. That's it. Now, That's it. 
this is nothing but sigma max from 0 to 1 you have to measure it and this is nothing but sigma mean from O to this point you have to measure it next maximum shear stress and minimum shear stress draw a line exactly from the center this point act as a sigma max and this point acts as a sigma mean now what is the value of the sigma max here count it out from this point it is 5.6 5.6 if you measure it it is 5.6 5.6 into scale the value will be 560 Newton per mm square now from this point to this point it is 1.5 value will be 1.5 into 100 it will be 150 Newton per mm square the next maximum shear stress it is 200 2 into 100 it become 200 Newton per mm square mm square and this said it is also 2 into 100 200 mm square we got sigma max sigma mean tau max and tau mean okay this completes your first portion now we have to go for location of principal plane and location of principal stresses now formula for this one location of principal plane i will write the formulas here location of principal plane plane that's it now from c to d draw a arc touching to this plane this point we call as a 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 i have to find out this 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 is nothing but what if you measure 2 theta 1 if you want to go for measuring this way or just this point with respect to this you will get the value ok if you measure it it becomes 75 from this point to this point approximately it is 75 75 degree therefore theta 1 mean what 75 divided by 2 it becomes 37.5 degree it is a theta 1 now we have to go for finding <coughs> theta 2 theta 2 is nothing but what there is a formula theta 1 plus 90 what is theta 1 37.5 plus 90 you will get 127.5 degree after getting this one go for location of shear stress location of shear stress shear stress plane formula for this one theta 3 is nothing but 1 by 2 2 theta 1 plus 90 1 by 2 2 theta 1 is nothing but 75 plus 90 you will get 82.5 similarly theta 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 2 theta 1 plus 270 degree 1 by 2 what is 2 theta 1 75 plus 270 you will get the answer as 175.5 degree that's here now <coughs> this complete your 90 percent of problem now how to represent this one location of principal plane this is nothing but the principal plane this line refers as a principal plane and this line refer as a shear stress plane now theta 1 2 theta already we got it next to 2 theta 2 we have to start from this part start from this part and end with here because theta 1 and theta 2 should be located over the principal plane this is the plane 
this nothing but 2 theta 2 now theta 3 how to locate the theta 3 theta 3 is nothing but shear plane theta 3 from this part to this part we call 2 theta 3 now what about theta 4 from this part to end enter into this position we call as a 2 theta 4 this is the simplest problem I have solved it I am Santosh Gaidankar thank you very much